Okay, if I can get everyone's attention, we'll go ahead and get this uh, uh, meeting to order. Um, I know several people have to leave at 2.30, so we're going to try to keep it moving and on schedule. So, first of all, welcome everyone. We have a full house. Uh, we have a, uh, a, a good list of agenda items to move through. So, um, thank you for taking time out to be with us today. Um, first order of business would be to adopt the agenda um, that you have before you. So moved. I have a mo motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Um, what we're going to have today is, um, before we move into our, our meeting minutes, we're going to have a financial report. Uh, we have McLattery and Pullen here. We have uh, Linda Murphy who will be going through uh, the financials and telling us how great we are, hopefully. And um, then we have uh, a series of reports, uh, after action reports on the uh, veterans uh, motorcycle run, the Vietnam veterans, the Oktoberfest, the uh, Jazz in the City, the Grand Prix series, which uh, I was very particularly impressed with the after action report, and we'll talk about that in a bit. And the, uh, Riverwalk Festival. Um, and then we'll go through some strategic work of the authority. So again, um, thank you all for being with us. Uh, next order of business is the approval of the minutes. Um, before you, you have the September 26, 2013 authority meeting minutes. There's no changes or any errors. Uh, I will entertain a motion to uh, approve the minutes. I move to approve the minutes. I have a motion. Second. And I have a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Okay, um, the next order of business is the combined annual financial report. Um, I'll turn it over to Gail to introduce uh, our guest today. Gail? Um, we have with us today Linda Murphy um, from McGladry and Poland. She's the auditor for the uh, Tourism Development Authority. She's going to go over the report with us just for very briefly. Okay, thank you. Linda, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, and I will be very brief because I've been fighting a sinus <laughs> infection <laughs> all week. I think we all are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, good. And maybe, hopefully, I won't be contagious. Would you prefer me to stand or sit? Wherever you're comfortable. Okay. You're fine. Okay. Well, first of all, we will go through the re the report, which all of y'all should have a bound copy. And the first one is on page one, which is actually our report, because we report on the financials, which the authority prepared, mainly Gail. And the opinion you received this year was a clean opinion, and it is what is now called an unmodified opinion. It used to be an unqualified, and now they changed it to an unmodified. But it is considered to be the best opinion there is, and it's a clean opinion. Okay. And the next thing that I'll go through is the management information discussion and analysis is some page three and if you don't really read anything else in this report this is the thing to read because it is a summary of the whole report and it explains all the different parts of it for you and as you moving along and as you can see on the actual financial statements which is page eight you'll see that at June 30th, 2013, you had $1.5 million in cash. And basically, of that, your net position, which used to be your fund balance or net assets, is now you have 198000 which is basically committed to Sturgeon City, and you have $1.3 which is restricted for tourism promotion in the next years. And on page nine, you'll see that the occupancy taxes that were collected were $936,652 for the year, and that the related expenses, tourism prom promotion was $674,000. So you had a change in that position 
which used to be the change in net assets or the net income of 263000 for the year. And if you go forward to page 13, this is the notes to the financial statement. And this gives you a detailed synopsis of the parts of the report and the different accounts. And that's really basically all there is to the report. Does anybody have any questions? Board members, any questions for Linda? No one? Go ahead. We just might mention, as she indicated in there, that, that she, they are holding that money for tourism promotion, yes. which is required That's right. by statute. <laughs> it is detailed, and that um, there's no issues having been found for that funds no. that are no, no, meeting the, the, the requirements. Right, the, the two thirds and the one third, as detailed by the state statute. And that's correct. And this accumulates each year until you you know you spend it for whatever it's, it's restricted to. Great. Okay, and the next report is the report to the Board of Directors, y'all. And it just gives the detail of the audit. It tells that the authority adopted GASB 63, which details what is now called net position instead of net assets or fund balance, what it used to be. And there wasn't any uncorrected misstatements to the trial balance after we received it. There wasn't any adjust, uh, audit adjustments that we made. We did not have any significant matters to discuss with management. We did not have any problems. And it was, we didn't encounter any difficulties with management. Okay? Well, thank you. And I want to thank Gail and, and her team uh, for an outstanding job through the transition and to uh, and, uh, and, and to her efforts in keeping us in line. Gail, thank you. And Linda, thank you so much for being with us today, and then thank you for the report. And I think it's important for, you know, at least for the public to know that under the general statutes, we are required to spend That's monies correct. within a certain ratio, and you have validated that we are doing so. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. A motion okay. to accept the report would be appropriate. Thank you, Glenn. I'm here with the I have a separate report of the audit for this past year. Great. Thank I have you. a motion from Bill. Second. And I have a second from Lindsay. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. Thank you very much. Linda, thank you. Well, thank you, and I'll get out of your hair so you can right. make your brief meeting. If you have any questions, my email is in your agenda. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Get well, too. Thank you. Okay, um, the next order of business is some presentations. Uh, I'll turn it over to Glenn. I think uh, the first one is the Vietnam Veterans Motorcycle Run, and I think we're going to have some brief uh, clips. Uh, While Miss Mary is taking um, um, her seat and um, we are um, um, passing some stuff out, we're going to play a brief video for you. Okay. Pat, Pat thank you for, for Pat. being with us. Pat. <laughs> Pat. Pat. <laughs> We forgive you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>
And that is, of course, her um, what happened that day and um, some of the city folks involved in that. And so now, um, um, Pat, we welcome any comments you might want to make uh, after that. Well, we felt that the day in itself was a huge success. Um, our target was motorcycle riders and people associated with the lifestyle that have a connection um, with raising money for the Vietnam Memorial. We had a total of 329 people who rode and an additional 300 participants that attended the event. We had 22 cities represented. We had six states. We had 24 confirmed overnight stays at the Hampton, the Home to Suites, the Triangle, and a whole group stayed at a campground, and I have yet to figure out which one. Um, their night stays varied between staying one night or staying up to four nights. Our outer marketing advertising was Full Throttle Magazine, which is a, a favorite among the motorcycle riders. Uh, covers North and South Carolina. We took a quarter page ad for August and September. It was listed on websites, uh, on their website for August and September as well. And they have about 5,000 monthly online subscribers to the magazine. Uh, we also did additional websites for the targeting the biker lifestyle, some of them being behind bars, Harley-Davidson, Harley Christian Motorcycles, Bikers Plaza, which is a national listing, and it covers calendar events for the whole year. Uh, we did motorcycle event calendar and approximately six or seven other networking connections. We put it out over the air on WNBU, um, which is the New Bern area. They've supported us in the past. Advertising schedules placed for September were 100 commercials on WMBU and 100 commercials on WRHT, and they ran July and August. Um, additional interviews were given on, on their morning show, which we did twice, um, and they also provided us with a very nice door prize. WMBB, which is Classic Country, supported us. Um, we had 59 commercials in August and 88 commercials in September, and their ads were matched at no charge, and they gave us $900 in door prizes. WSFL, which is Classic Rock, was added to by, uh, to support further interest and scheduled we had 34 ads, which included 67 commercials at no charge and a donated door prize. Um, we had 14 staff members who put this on for the whole day. Um, we had some from the military, some from a couple of the other organizations, and our foundation staff. The other form I gave you, um, is our expenses, what we paid out, um, what the city helped us with, what the county helped us with. It, I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. We wound up grossing over $7,000 for the event, which was great. Thank you. Um, very quick question for you. On your line items for reimbursements, what is that for? Um, the reimbursements, the county gave us a grant of $2,500, and it paid for the tent rental, the Porta Johns, and the entertainment. So that shows where you took it in and paid it back out? Right. Okay. And the city was the same way. Um, for 330 We paid 330 for the magazine article, and, we, and then the city reimbursed us through the grant. And the advertising we paid direct? Yes. Right. Correct. That's just FYI there. And the foundation would like me to give this to the advisory board. And it says a certificate appreciation from the Onslow Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation to the Jacksonville Tourism Advisory Board with grateful appreciation for your assistance and support of the motorcycle run and rally. Wonderful. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Pat. I really appreciate it. And uh, this is certainly an event that's uh, self-explanatory in terms of <coughs> the heads on beds and the return on investment. Not only the return on investment, but but the quality of life enhancements for the community. You know, 24 heads on beds, two, three nights stay, along with uh, gas and uh, food and all the other things that take place within that. And it's just exactly what, what we need to be supporting. And you guys did a great job and uh, all the facts and figures are here. And, and at the end of the day, you were able to put some money away for a great cause and, and so everybody wins. It's a win-win and I know on behalf of the board we're happy to, to support that. And I'll open it up to the floor, board members. I, I'd just like to point out that there's a hard, lot of hard work in organizing sure this, this thing and, and the good part about it is the money is going to go to a nice facility here in town with a memorial. How's the, how's the roof coming? Um. I can tell you right now the memorial is closed. You can't get in past the bridge. That's they are sign. putting the steel is here. Oh, the first good. load came in. So within the next four to six weeks, it will be complete. Pat, are you guys going to do any kind of uh, ceremony, ribbon cutting? or? Yes, with Glenn's help and Teresa's help and everybody that has volunteered. Um, I know the chamber is going to get involved and we're going to do a rededication. Hopefully we would like to do a like a thank you dinner the night before and then do the rededication the following morning and invite back to Jacksonville a lot of people who have been instrumental in, in helping us do the memorial um, and have them come back. Thank you very much. There are some unexpended funds, obviously, whenever they ask the permission to yes. split this into right. the run and then that um, recognition that will occur later. Okay. And I have one other thing I'd like to tell you. We have partnered with an association called REACH out of Burlington, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. What they do is they are putting together brand new tools in a toolbox to the tune of five to six hundred dollars per box and giving them to wounded warriors. Monday night we'll be donating, giving out seven to our local wounded warriors at the chamber at four o'clock in the afternoon. If anybody would like to come, you're more than welcome. Thank you very much. Very kind. Melody? I met those people. They are wonderful too, by the way. Very nice. Pat, I was wondering, how do the numbers compare this year versus last year? A whole lot better. Really? And yes. you did a lot more advertising this year because you had the funds. No, right? we had the weather against us last year. Right. And, and the year, year before, I think I was there before. and it rained, yes. But this year the weather was outstanding. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I, I want to compliment uh, Pat and her organization for providing us with uh, this breakdown because this is one of the things that we've asked organizations to do and this is very helpful come next year when we have to make the tough choices of, of doling out money so this is the kind of information that we like it's the kind of information we need and you're to be complimented uh, if, if the dome is up and finished as we predict and our bills are all paid which right now we're very grateful we do have the funds to pay for it it's all in the bank um, it's questionable whether we will do a motorcycle run next year so Keep I know the guys want it but well we've come a long way since the uh, Marlon Brando Wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah. motorcycles were a bad image and now it's, it's yeah. the opposite so that's a good thing that's a good event I don't know I'd encourage you to <laughs> I know it's a lot of work. <laughs> She's tired. She's tired. She's tired. Yeah. Again, thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for the report. You're welcome. Okay. okay uh, next order of business, we have the Oktoberfest. And we're going to ask Theo. Theo, will you join us? Right up here in the chute. And um, while you're taking your seat, um, we're going to roll a video of, um, of that program. we got to put you in the hot seat, Theo. Yeah. 